Likely Stories features the zany and sometimes outlandish antics of some of today's hottest comics. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. Rob Reiner and Bruno Kirby starred a story that asks the musical question, is there life after Frank Sinatra? You like Frank? Today. Yeah, he's okay. Wait a second. With all due respect, I'm not in show business or anything, but the man's a little bit more than okay. Jack Jones is okay. Jerry Vale is okay. But Frank, that's legend. Christopher Guest plays every role in a tale of intricate deceit, homicide, and just a little bit of murder. It was the same old story. A dame with dough, a dead husband, and a guy with a towel on his head. Marcia Strassman and Michael McKean in a backstage look at a corporation's pathetic attempt to entertain itself. We want you to believe our world. And that's why we're changing our name. From the Jesco Industries to MJI. You wouldn't believe our world. David L. Lander and Harry Shearer in a candid tribute to the rock and roll promoter. Can I ask you one favor? Sure. I'm a very busy kind of guy. Can we get this finished before my Valium kicks in? And Steve Collins shares a poetic moment. She came to me like the nosebleed that never says its name, but lingers on the hanky of dawn like the pigeons of my youth. Now, I'm going to cut and squeeze and trim. Then I'm going to take a swim, because you can't spend all day on this job. But your brain gets fuzzy, and your heart starts to throb, and you begin to think it's only a phase. And they'll send you back to Fifth Valley days. It's unpredictable, it's outrageous, it's Likely Stories, Volume 1.